So I was uh, changing my timing chain on my uh, 65 block, and I noticed something that I don't think a lot of people noticed, where you can't see it now, but the cam thrust plate, which is behind the, the uh, cam timing gear here, it's back behind there. Um, well, I had this one on there, which was the uh, stock 65 one, and uh, the other one that actually came with my my Ford timing kit there had one with a nub out there and uh, so that nub that was sticking out covers up an oil galley and it has kind of a pathway and it kind of funnels it into the cam thrust bearing area so kind of different but it, uh, I assume that these time these double roller timing chains are designed for that uh, other style and this one here this is my cloys or whatever you want to call it timing set and it went down in 8,000 miles it just got really sloppy I got a video up of what that one looks like so and I got tremendous more compression it seems out of my engine now this this timing chains really tight that side doesn't even move that side's just bouncing a little bit so grab a wrench here and it's just uh, an animal to try and turn over it's a lot harder so, anyway, there it is. And that's what a... Get down there. So that's how much play a new tying chain has. That side doesn't even move. That side barely moves. So, there you have it. But a quick tip there is that old school type thrust plate isn't any good so if you do a double roller you better switch or you'll probably have the same problems I did thanks